So we've uh, got a different view for a change. We're looking at the front of the car instead of the back. Following on from the successful completion of the rear end of the chimney with the chassis and the floor and the inner wheel arches, we're now onto the slam panel, the final leg of bodywork repair. So we take you around to see how easy this thing is to get off. I've got a new slam panel and I'm pleasantly surprised by how easy it looks to get it off and also to re-weld it back on. The only downside is it's raining. When is it ever going to stop raining in England? It's middle of April. It's cold, much colder than it should be, and it's wet again. I won't be welding in the rain, uh, but I don't mind uh, drilling spot welds in the rain, so as long as I'm using a a relatively covered up drill. Um, I won't get electrocuted. It's not very heavy either, so I'm happy to work in this, but I won't be welding in it. So let's take you around to see what it's like to get this off. Let's have a go. Okay, we'll start by getting the bonnet up. So you can see the new slam panel is on the floor. Uh, all my body parts have come from Jimny Bits. It was on offer, cost around about £290 plus VAT plus carriage. So by the time it got to me, it was about £360. I ordered it late morning. It came 10 o'clock the following morning. Excellent service. Straight on the lorry, straight down to me. No problem at all. First thing to do is take off the bonnet catch. Next thing to do would be take off the horn. We've already undone the body mounts, so those just bolts just need to pull out. We've got a couple of uh, little rubber bump stops and a seal for the front of the panel that goes under the bonnet. And then all that's left after that, because all my headlights are out and everything else, is spot welds up here, three, four, five spot welds here. We've got two on the top, just here, and the same on the other side. These ones here, two on the top up there. And then we just cut back the old wheel arch down inside there. I'll just take you on the inside. So basically down there. And we're gonna repair that anyway. That's gonna have new steel on it. So I've got to repair that corner got to repair that front edge of that wheel arch. Uh, same on this side, I've already cut some of that away. This corner's actually okay, it's in reasonably good condition. Um, but then I've got to repair that bit down there as well because that's a bit rotten there. And that bit there, this piece here, that welds to the new uh, slam panel on here. And we've got both on both sides. And that's all it is. So effectively, spot welds this side, six, seven spot welds this side, six, seven spot welds on the other side, body mounts off, and then cut that back, and then the panel will be off. Probably be off in half an hour. Uh, happy days. But then, of course, we have to do the repairs so that we've got something to weld to at the back. So I'm hoping it's going to be a reasonably decent job. Okay, about 20 minutes later, and we got some spot wells drilled out. So not too bad a job, quite easy to get at. It's nice and high because it's on the stands. So it's easy for me because I'm quite tall. And the tool that I'm using to drill out spot welds is that type of tool. So there's a, a cutter bit that looks like a little tiny tank cutter. Let's see if I can get that in focus. Um, which is reversible, so once it wears out or the teeth start breaking off, you can swap it round and uh, use the other side of it. And in the middle, it's got a spring-loaded uh, locating pin, if you like to call it that. So you have to do a dot punch in the centre of the spot weld and then use the pin to locate and hold the cutter in the right place. But the problem is, is that they tend to slide and spin around all over the place. So this one here 
um, that hold is quite a lot bigger than what it would have been uh, because it's spinning and slipping and all sorts. So what I've started to do with these is I've started to use a like a small drill bit just to drill uh, a deeper indent than the stop punch makes just so that that little pin locates better and it doesn't spin out of the hole. I get on okay with that type, it uh, works quite well. But as you can see, top is free, as quick as that. The body mounts have been taken out, as you can see there, so that's easy. And all I've got left to do is cut down there. And it's off. Simple job. This is so thin and rotten here, literally, I've just chiseled it with a chisel. And same on this side, this is little tiny tab here of the inner wing, which is spot welded to the slam panel, but it's so thin and rusty, literally, I virtually just pulled at it and off it came. And there's the old one off the car. Oh dear, it looks a lot worse than it looks before the slam panel was taken off. <laughs> but at least we can get to all this rubbish metal here and repel ace that. Same this side. We can get to all of that. We can put a new piece in. And the main reason for changing this slam panel is body mount MOT fail, 100%. So this car passed its MOT in January 2022. I bought it in February 2023 and it hadn't failed its MOT, it had just expired. So it hadn't had another test. But the test in January 2022 did not mention this rot. Or that rot it all it mentioned was rear body mounts and it was an advisory now if you remember those rear body mounts were absolutely shot how that passed an MOT and then had one years of motoring and ended up the state they're in now is beyond me they must have been absolutely shocking when it was inspected and then, of course, there's all this as well. We all know what happens with MOTs. Some turn a blind eye, some are really thorough, and you want one that's in the middle. You want a sensible, honest, down the, straight down the line MOT tester to give you an honest opinion of the state of your car. This one's rough. But we're repairing it. We're putting it back on the road. And... That is the last bit, major bit, off the car. All that's left to do, repair this, repair that, and fit the new panel. Can't be bad. And just like that, the slam panel is on, and it is actually quite solid. And I haven't done any welding whatsoever. <laughs> Basically bolted it there where the front wing would bolt to. Bolted it there as well. So that's two front corners. And then I've tightened down the body mounts to get it into the right place. And it's actually solid as a rock. But clearly I've got to do the inner wing wheel arch down there. And down there. But because it is so solid yes I'm going to do it properly but it's not critical that inner wheel arch has got to be tied into the front balance of course the slam panel and obviously down that side there as well but I'm surprised at how easy that's gone on first of all the old one coming off and the new one going back on and it's pretty much fits like a glove um, it's perfect I mean it's a genuine part so it should be and the amount of work into that uh, panel of course all the pressings and the welding and everything for 350 quid mm, not bad really at all I think that's quite a good price 
so quite pleased with where we are next job is to fabricate the plates to repair the wheel arches the inner wheel arches get those welded in weld them to the slam panel happy days if you want to find rust on a piece of flat steel that uh, you're not sure how thin it is get one of these it's a four inch four and a half inch angle grinder with a wire wheel on it it's probably for the DIY wire it's probably the most aggressive piece of equipment you'll ever buy this will cut into metal like you wouldn't believe it will find thin steel and it will find holes so if you're not at all sure use this thing and it will find it and I've used it all around that front edge there where I've cut away the rot and basically what's thin gets ripped off so you know where the solid stuff is and if it's solid and you're still attacking it with the wire wheel and it's still solid you know you've got pretty much decent steel to weld to so I'm happy with that this side I've got a few bits of thin metal there so I'm going to see what I can do with those I'm going to attack that with this uh, tool in a moment and uh, see what happens but I don't really want to go all the way back up that far up if I can I've taken the airbox out so that I can get to this um, but I may just patch this rather than put a whole piece complete piece complete piece in if you see what I'm saying so that's what I'm thinking of doing there but yeah you want to find rust and you want to find holes or thin metal use one of these okay so where are we up to we've got the new plate fashioned up for the inner wing there just got to get that all lined up so that it's uh, nice and flush and well in and then this side got that pretty much made for that one got a little bit of bending to do just there so yeah quite happy with that uh, last little piece to make is that piece that corner piece there there's that hole that should be fairly straightforward so I'm going to crack on with that now and just like that the new slam panel was replaced pretty simple job even simpler if you haven't got to repair the inner wheel arches literally uh, unbolt the wings drill out the spot welds put your new panel in oh body mounts as well of course but uh, relatively simple compared to the back end of the vehicle so yeah I'm I'm pretty chuffed so let me take you around some repairs that I've done so I've repaired this bottom corner here uh, repaired the inner sill under there the in, sorry the inner wheel arch under there um, they all go just behind the headlights down there so I'll put a new panel in there and that's the same on both sides so new panel on that side as well uh, I didn't need a repair on this corner uh, so uh, that's okay that's all good um, but uh, yeah a good job all round and that is welding completed here's hoping for the MOT let's hope he doesn't find anything else or says oh your welding's not up to scratch do it again don't know what I'm going to do if he says that <laughs> so much time and effort has gone into it not to mention a little bit of money I'd be pretty destroyed if I found something after the well I found something because the MOT's failed because I didn't do something properly still we'll have to see how we go so all that's left really is mechanicals so I've got a few mechanicals to do the rear brakes have got to be done uh, on the advisory for the last test it had which would have been two years ago now but it's not been on the road for a year um, anti-roll bar links that's an easy job um, front one of the front brake calipers is supposed to be binding I haven't looked at that yet that may need a new caliper that may just free off see how we go with that and I think I've got an airbag lights on but I'm not too worried about that 
um, that can be dealt with I think relatively easily. So we're getting very close to MOT. I'm getting pretty excited to get this thing out of my hair, <laughs> if I'm honest, because I've got plenty of other things to be doing. But I do need to get this on the road for my son. Um, he finishes A levels at the end of May, starts hopefully a job in June, so he can put some petrol in it and use it for the summer before he goes off to university. That's the plan. I don't suppose he'll be able to afford to run it while he's at university, but at least if we can get it on the road so he can use it over the summer, get himself independent, and then good job done. So that's where we are. Next episode will be mechanicals, brakes, anti-roll bar bushes, uh, anti-roll bar links, etc., etc., um, and then uh, MOT. Yeah. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy what we're doing. Look back on the playlist if you've got a Suzuki Jimny. This one's nearly done and I'm happy. Take care. Bye for now.